All right, this is Michael. I had some delicious Jack in the Box earlier, so we're gonna continue on where we left off. Um, here it is. We already took this part off, so we're probably gonna get the point of. Look at this. Check this out. <laughs> so uh, this is gonna be pretty much taken off already. But before we take that off and see how well it fits, I think the best thing to do is actually keep the strap on. Uh, or take the strap off. So in order to take the strap off fully, we need to actually remove this. So I think that'll be our best bet first. Let's take the struts off so we can actually see how much, if this will even interfere. You know, the strut's going to have to stick out like this. Sort of a 90 degree tilt anyway. So we want to see if, if that's going to be where it's going to help us determine where the holes are going to be here. These guys here where it needs to be poked. I'm assuming like right there and right there now. Unfortunately, it did not make it. <clears throat> Uh, just shorter to this thing. It actually went a little bit further in deep pretty much It's gonna hit our reflector. Uh, you know, I don't feel really good about Probing a hole. I'm hoping it's maybe somewhere right here before the reflector That way the water doesn't get into the reflector housing. So we'll find out if that's the case and let's get started We're gonna remove the Gibby case and let's get this thing on the road So we got to put this in the area here. We won't Accidentally crush it. So I wish I had a little box here that was laying here prior I usually like to use those big priority mailboxes because they usually give a good full coverage So let me see here <clears throat> Meantime, let's go and take off this wrapper back uh, Peel it off back so we know exactly all the areas because we got to do a dry fit on this area anyway So we'll see exactly where it fits So let's go and peel this all off again Careful not to my feet are so close to it. I accidentally step on it. But yeah, we're almost in the final button down stage. Uh, we'll definitely still be able to tune it. <clears throat> you get everything tie strapped in there. I also got some of these things where when we make the holes, we're gonna need to cover it up, right? So these things right here, I called, I guess they're called rubber garments or something like that. So what they'll do is, it's about half an inch in diameter. These things right here. So I think the one that'll fit it well might be this guy right here. And there's two of them in a the pack. So we'll need one for the top and then possibly the bottom one as well. But we'll see first how this harness goes when we take this off. Now in order to remove this one, you're gonna need the key for one thing. So let me go and get the key for the scooter. There we go, put the keys in here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the keys for the scooter. Okay. In order to move this latch or the Gibby case off the surface mount, we have to push this guy here and he won't let you push. See that he won't let you push in to release the center hatch here until this key is open, in the open position at least. So we'll put that in open position. There we go, now that that's flat, you don't need to pop the lid open or anything like that, but then you can push him. See, now he goes pushing. And it should be lifting, it might be a little bit. Might need two hands here. Let me go and try to get that pushed over. There we go. Do that and then you can carry it while the slide off. Oh, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> ouch, ouch, ouch. We gotta take off our cable, that's, that's a no-no right there. So hopefully it didn't yank too bad. Yeah, we yanked one of these guys off. Ah, darn it. That's okay, we can super glue them. We'll scrape them off nicely and reapply the glue. We'll see where that guy fell off of. At least we know exactly what area he's in. I'm gonna put this over here, protect him well. Get one more thing to do, right? We're almost there. So let's go and find out where he landed on. And get prepared to super glue him. That's probably the least of our concern right now. That shouldn't be a hard thing to do. So we kind of gave him a yank. <laughs> oh boy. Totally forgot to take out the wires. I saw I forget full sometimes. But let's see here. Let's go find that guy. Now we gotta scrape him off with a plastic scraper. And give him a super glue dug. Okay, let's see if he there he goes. He went, he went ripping. He went water sliding on us. There we go, let's fish him out. 
it's not a big deal. Let's go and get this guy squared away before we start. One more project to do, right? Uh, we could have done it easier. Hadn't we remembered to... There we go. Got him out. So that's fine. What we'll do is... I think we might be able to apply some... I'm not sure if super glue will bond well, quite well. But this is definitely plastic. So a little super glue here. Might do a trick. I think it's better to scrape it off cleanly than apply super glue. What do you guys think? Or apply a new adhesive altogether. Cut like a little square diameter. <clears throat> oh boy. Let's see what we can do. Let me see. I'm afraid that if I apply super glue, well, it'll cause the paper to stick, right? So that might not be a bad thing. We might not have to scrape off. So the paper sticks, let them stick all together. Let's see if it will work best not scraping it. And just give it a Gorilla Glue applied directly. I think I could probably hold it. I think it might absorb the Gorilla Glue a little bit better onto the paper. The idea is just to get that adhesive on there. So let's see if we can do this. I'll scroll. Applying the square pattern here. First of all, I gotta get this open. Look like it's it's sticking his cap. Very funky right now. <laughs> all right, so let's go and do this. There we go. Clean out the resolution a little bit. There we go. Go for a, go for a little bit of the outer surface. Then we'll work away for an inner one. We'll do like an X or something, an X pattern. Let's go ahead and spread it in a little bit. Okay. Okay, I think that's spread pretty well. I'm not squeezing anymore, I'm just spreading it. Alright, so there's go. Put that there. Get any dust off of it, but we don't want to reshape it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Damn, we nailed it right there, back to where it was. Okay, give it a little press. It's got to really smash, pretty much. Give it a good hold. See some of the excessive glue is coming out which is expected. This one's the same, there you go. Okay, so what we can do is, I guess maybe we can take the cap of this, kind of clean it out a little bit. Not sure, I'm creating more of a mess, really. Let me get something to scrape it or a little plastic scraper probably do better. It's going to dry out pretty quickly. Where is our plastic scraper? I thought we had him somewhere laying around here. Oh, there he is. Oh, not the... Well, the metal one ain't that bad, but the plastic one is much more safer. Alright, so here we go. go scrape all the excessive before it dries and it's drying pretty quickly let's see if there's any squeeze in the bottom here we can have it lift up a little bit press on itself so okay let's close the super glue back I think this might work well get this sheet here clean it up a little bit give it a good rub 
in areas where it's putting shouldn't have super glue. Give the rub off. That could still smash a little bit. Hold it for. The only thing I hate about the super glue part is it always leaves like a white residue. Not really clean, but you can hopefully scrape a little bit off the plastic. Again, this would have been avoided if I actually paid attention and not kind of just gave it a gave it a good jerk off. Here we go. Scrape little pieces off that. I think we're almost squared away here. It's sticking, but I'm trying to scrape any excessive though. clean in that one area only that one square inch there <clears throat> yeah I think it's screw that one little piece right here get all that whatever it is here might be silicone actually There we go. It's it's stabilized. Perfect. That's what we want. We want it to keep it sticking there. So it looks good. Looks nice and clean now. So, yeah, this guy here, he doesn't need it. This guy did did a number with us. Okay, all that super glue shaving now is left behind. All the dry. See that like that? You can't see it, but when it dries up, you can see it quite clearly. I think parts of it's actually from the leftover silicone. I think we did try this with silicone as well. So maybe with it, with it fell off regardless. So now we got a little bit of super glue in there that should hold it a little bit more sturdier. Just don't like that white chalky residue that that super glue leaves behind. There we go. I think it looks pretty damn good. Could be a little bit more cleaner though, in my opinion. Let's see if I can get it at an angle. Smooth it out. This is plastic on plastic, so not too worried. Kind of scrape off a little bit of the left behind residue. Kind of polish it and clean a little bit. It's not going to do it for you unless you do it. So that one's Let's see what this one is all about. Like it's a little paint mark or something. 
All right, so there we go. Is there a scratch here too? Where did that came from? Interesting. Get all kinds of new stuff when you start cleaning one thing in detail and you start noticing all these uh, things that are coming up. You're like, hey, what do you do to my case? If you were just left by yourself, you'd probably blame yourself because you were the only one in the room. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, there we go. We got it. very secure. I can tug on it now. See, even the whole flap wants to come off with me. So that's a good sign there. So that's strong. Stronger than what it was before, actually. Very good. And we got all four corners. So the bottom one doesn't look too bad at all. Is there? All right, let's get back and leave this alone for a second. We'll leave this here just in case we can come back and find out some more things to scrape. All right, let's get back to this guy. Um, what we're going to do is unmount this. That way we can slide that on with the housing still in front of it because we really need to see how far it needs to move back. And then we're also going to need to take this guy off here. We're going to have to swing him. We're not going to take him completely off because he has wires attached to this setup here to power these guys. So he's going to be swinged. Uh, this one needs to be taken off, which we were prepared to do anyway. So let's go and get that off, and that way we can mount the strut. Uh, mount the struts, I mean. So let's go and do that. Get the right Allen socket. I believe these are our uh, H6 hex. So we'll get our H6 hex here, and then we're going to go and get our socket driver. Uh, let's see here. go awesome okay all right so lefty Lucy there we go we didn't put the lock tie on anyway so we're, we're not having to worry you still want to go ahead and unbolt it evenly you don't want to put too much stress on one so this is loose Try to get an angle to get this guy here. It's a little bit harder because he has this thing and played on. Not sure how we did it before. Oh yeah, we did. We lost the extension. That's probably the best way. I think that without the extension, he'll fit just right. There we go. He'll have more room. Okay, lefty Lucy. And it's not gonna go anywhere because these two struts are holding this guy down anyway. Pretty confident in that. This is a solid aluminum piece. It's pretty damn strong as it is though, but I kind of like to have the struts. Uh, but I wish I didn't have to sacrifice my tail light, uh, the red area, to, in doing it. Because the black one, I don't mind, but now we're getting to the red one. So if this still has a problem, there's no point in uh, making a hole there anyway, because if this thing still gets in the way, this protruding area, because it doesn't hit flush, we're going to find that out because when we unmount it, this thing will stay here anyway. So we're going to find out if it's still hitting that tail light area. Uh, even though this guy's not in the way anymore, right? So you can see here, there's still some black paint here. Which I'm kind of scraping off. Easily could take off again with some... Look at that, there's some black paint there. That's no problem. We can wipe off with some carb cleaner real quick here. Okay, these guys are coming. This is loose, so we're just going to leave it on there, it's just loose. Once you can pull it up, that means it's already loosened from the thread. Almost there. Oh. Almost can actually loosen by hand. Which, yeah, they could, once you can pull it up, they're loose, they're all loose now. Except for this guy, it looked like he went back in for a second dip or what? I thought I was able to pull him up and down the ray. There we go, now he's loose. Okay, so they're all loose now, so it's all up to us now to pull this guy off. Um, so we can go ahead and start unmounting him. And I think the best way to do that is to get in the position to hold his body upright. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so you can see all this wants to come off, but they won't come off because this guy here is not letting them come off. 
So we're going to go, I think is Lefty Lucy still on these things or is Lefty Lucy is tightening it? Oh yeah, the reverse thread. So righty, tight, righty is Lucy on this guy. There we go. <clears throat> right, we'll have to get this nut all the way to the very top again. We'll leave these on the bottom. Gives us an idea how far this thing has to drive over. And then while we're doing that, we might put these other, what do you call them, the rubber on now. That will we'll have it ready to slide up and down. One on this side and one on this side. Somehow, let's see. Oh, righty tidy again. <laughs> righty Lucy in this case. So I'll try to do it evenly. It's almost coming off. There we go. It's off from this end. We gotta get actually off from the other end, really. There we go. That's what we want to do. So we want to see how these things are maybe perhaps protruding it or not. And we're gonna find that out right now. So now that this is off, we actually want to get this off too. The reason why is we want to make sure that our housing will be able to flush flat on this bolt here. And then the middle one, I guess it's just ties to here. So the license plate will eventually have to come off. Um, and these two guys are just holding the license plate. So uh, we can leave the tie straps on this one, but we gotta get this bolt off. So this is gonna take the extension. And I'm not sure it takes this. This one looks smaller. It looks like maybe H, H4 or an H5. Let's find out which one. And let's get ready to get this guy unbolted as well. So all this is just a, preparing for a dry fit right now. So I think H4 might be too small, it might be an H5. We'll find out right now. Here we go. Got an H5 here. Just says number five, or Nico. I'm gonna put the extension, just kind of see it by hand first. Yep, H5. Definitely won't be five and a half. Uh, haven't had one that's five and a half yet. It's either five, or six. So those are pretty too. Okay, lefty loose. Now this is the one with the weak area here. This is the one we possibly need to take off anyway. Look at that. See, it's starting to crack open. You can see here. This is the one we probably need to also perhaps either super glue it or use some kind of bonding. I'm not sure if we're gonna use that little plastic maker because it already has enough plastic. We really need something more of a bonding surface. So let's see what we can do in this one after we get it off. We'll prepare, we'll swing them on the towel area. So let's go and put the towel in the exhaust area because he needs a place to rest his, 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 his body there. So we'll try to swing them over to our carburetor. I mean our um, muffler there and hang them. We can't disconnect them because these wires are already tied in with them. And I gotta start removing the tape. You can see the silicone here supporting that tape as well as duct tape. <laughs> so I'll probably remove this tape shortly. I don't want any dirt to trap in it anyway. That, tur that tape was just temporary there. Okay, so now we're gonna remove both. If you look at it, see that how it's flexing and bending open? This little bit right here, I think is wearing out. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But once we take it off, I wanna take it off cleanly because I really wanna be able to fix it with either some Gorilla Glue, super glue. And so what I'm gonna do is unscrew it from here. Kinda of do it gently. Back. If I take this one off first, all the weight might be coming. So I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold and support it. I'm just going to hold it like this while I'm unbolting it. Let's see if I can drive him all the way out. You really don't need the socket. It's now you can do it by hand. It's such a short uh, screw as well. We're going to have to upgrade him to a little longer because he now has to go through that housing as well. The back cover uh, tail light housing that we're trying to fit in here. So he's gonna have this in addition, there you go. You can see how short that is. There's his washer there, but see, he's not more than, I'd say about three fourths of an inch. He's almost the same as our nozzle there, our front housing nozzle. So see that's off now, so the pressure's off this guy now that was breaking. See this guy right here, this is how it looks like when it's actually hold. And the other one here, you can see there's a little round slit mark. It's like his neck was already kind of ripping off. So what we'll do is we'll hit him with a little bit of super glue 
and hopefully he'll help himself bond better. Now this guy has all the pressure, so I'm going to try to relieve it. So I do need to sock it here because he has all the weight on him now. You can see here how it's going to hang like this. We can't disconnect the wire because they're already in this junction already. So and there's no need to really. Just got to move it out of the way so we can actually do a dry fit here in this housing. See those three right there, amigos, protruding on the very top of the other end? Those are the one that's going to be coming here, the two here. And then the middle ones can be mounted here, as we talked about. So let's go ahead and get this guy off. So it looks like we're having to redo some work here, but that's okay. Because um, we had to really know how to interlock. Okay, my screw is loose now. So the washer did its job, but unfortunately, it was just too light of a plastic for it to really hold itself. So maybe I can give it a little bit of reinforcement and give it some of that plastic maker there. We'll see. There we go. I caught it. Is it? These are the screws for it. All right. So here we go. We'll swing him. We'll swing him. I think we could probably rest him here. He should be fine. Okay. In the meantime, let's look on what we need to do to get him fixed. So he got to be fixed on this side, right? So let's see if we can flip him around and take care of him while we're getting our other stuff fixed out. So let's check this one out. Let's get the bolts for these guys too. Put the keys out here so I won't keep scratching it. Oh, there he is. Okay, so these guys are, we'll set these guys ready to be put back in. Or no, we're not gonna probably use these guys. We're gonna use something longer because now he's again, he's going through this, but he's also going through that. So he's going to need a lot more millimeter of coverage. This barely actually gave him that. So more than likely we're going to need something. Oh, man. There we go. More than likely we're going to need something a little bit longer expected from him. So let's, but in the meantime, let's look at this one here. See how we can fix this guy. There we go. We'll come from the other side here. Give it a good inspection. You can see where he's starting to rip a little bit right there. He's like perfectly ripped right there. So let's see what we can do. Let me put this back here. That way we can hang them sort of like this without hurting our, our muffler. Okay. All right, let's see if we can carry him all the way over here. We'll probably need to put, put a chair here or something. Probably bring a little chair real quick. Now he's just holding by the string, so I got, I don't want to put too much tension on the string either. Let's see here, there we go. I got him in the position I can hold him like this. Okay, so here we go. He's just being blocked by this one. He's kind of hooked on one of the, the exhaust uh, tip there, which is not gonna hurt, it's just plastic. Okay, so you can see here how it's ripping. So we could forcefully feed adhesive in there and then give it a good press down. And why don't we do that? If we do that, we're gonna have to expect some kind of uh, boldness drip. So either we can drip the adhesive from the inside and let it kind of you know, because that adhesive, even though it's gel, uh, I mean, we can work it in there and see if it'll actually build on it. I think that might be actually the best way to do it. Let's see what's the inside look on this guy. You can see him doing a zoom in here. You guys can see it. So either we fix it with uh, it's that Gorilla Super Glue, because you can see here it's opening his mouth a little bit, but it's better to actually have it all the way open so we can feed a little bit more of that gel in there. Or we can come in here and see how much we can squeeze it from here. You can see that? I feel like even over here, we could probably squeeze it quite a bit more. See that? It looks like he could probably open up a little bit more for us once we're in this position with him. You can see that? And then we come from the inside. We come from the outside in. But either way, we gotta get something to actually hold him a little bit more security because you know, even though he's not putting pressure now, he's just holding on to the, the muffler. Let's get a little chair to post him. And... This guy here, gotta be careful with him too. There we go. Get this little chair here. See if we can post him properly. And we don't want him to move while he's in the process of being cured. Oh boy. Let's see if we can get him in a good position where we can work on him without him being interfered with our setup here. See if I can hook. Wonder what's really holding him. Oh, it's one thing's the wire. There we go. So we if we position him like this, 
we can work on them. So we'll we'll have it drip and then we'll have it forced down somehow. These lights here, we'll let it follow it. How about that? Try to get out of the way, really. Let's try our best to work cleanly. Okay. So let's go bring our Gorilla Glue again. This guy's gonna be our best friend for today a little bit. Yeah. Let's see if we can make this little area stronger. Okay, first of all, we have to gap it open a little bit. So either we kind of gap it open with a razor blade, pick on it a little bit to open it, and then squeeze our gel in there. We don't want to rip it because we're, we're, we're actually wanting the pressure to work in our favor. So let me see if I can bring this, get in a position here to kind of get started doing the surgery here. Back here, let me see if I can have the tripod slip in here this way. There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do is, while he's open a little bit, try to put adhesive in there. That'll give him a little bit more reinforcement than what he currently has. So at the same time, I'm going to do a a quick run to see how much I can actually open them up before I start applying the squeeze adhesive. So, you guys probably can't see his black on black, right? There we go. Okay, you see that little gray area? That's pretty much where the, the rip is. There you go. Look, I can open quite a bit. So when I open it, I'm going to squeeze adhesive. Kind of do a 360. It's not really a 360 rip yet, which thank goodness. But we'll be prepared. Adhesive's kind of funky looking. I don't know where the where the end of it is or where it's going to spurt out. But I'm sure it will spurt. It's a gel, so it's not just going to come pouring. There we go, sort of. All right, let me clean the adhesive tip a little bit so I know exactly where it's going to, okay, it's kind of hard to determine. Oh, there we go, I broke, I broke some of his nasty, nasty coverage there. There you go, look at that. Got a little bit of the, the ugly leftover from it. Wow, you can almost cut it off cleanly. Look at that. Now I can actually see where the angle tip I'm working with. It's like you always want to clean your spray can, right? So, okay, there you go. I see a little gel bubbling up. This is my cue to get down there and start feeding it in there. There we go. Stay open for me. Got to fill in that cavity with as much gel as I can. Now I'm using a razor blade because it's not really going to do anything to the razor blade. But I'm using the razor blade to help me uh, get more super glue in there before it decides to close up. And I think we're doing it good. Alright, so let's go ahead and give it a good clam. You can see some of the super glue is coming out, which is fine with us. Okay, I'm going to give it some pressure. It's a clean wound, so that's nice. Oh. Get a little resolution there for you. See that? I'm squeezing it. One, two, three, four, five. In fact, do I have anything else I can clamp with? I do, and I should have brought it before I actually started this. So let me see if I can reach for it while this is on hold. It's actually already sticking in the way. Look at that one right there. There we go. All right. Oh, <laughs> that's a good squeeze. But anyway, I shouldn't have any problem anyway. It looks like it's actually starting to dry up on its own. 
Now, I'm not putting any more super glue. I'm just using the same thing to spread it over. But yeah, it's already healing itself. So, it's got a really nice bond already. All right, so we'll close this guy's cap off. It's pretty clean as he is. Okay, what I'm doing is just scraping excess of super glue. It's not going to help you any, just have super glue clump on the surface, really. A lot of people think they are, but it's not. You can see here with plastic, just scrapes right off. All right. Let's clean it this way, too, by the way. Almost like you're. What do you call that? Cleaning it. Give it a nice. Oh, you can't really see it, but here, get into a little more detail. But yeah, you got a little bit of this guy. Scrape it off right away because if it dries, you're gonna have a razor blade with sharp edge. <laughs> so let me go and find a, a disposable nap. Rip off a little bit. Just want to clean your. Razor blade tip here, so he was able to scrape off some of the gunk. All right. Careful when you clean your razor blade. Don't want to rub it the wrong way, if you know what I mean. Try to go outward, away from the blade. Okay, so there we go. That's pretty much our razor blade. This guy here, he's cured almost. He's dry, that's for sure. But there's no more wobbling. So let's go and give him a final inspection here. See how it really looks. See that? It's a nice little compact there. The screw is going to have a little bit more enforcement. Kind of clean them up a little bit. You almost can't see the light gray rip part anymore. It's compact now with super glue. And let's go and see the other areas to the bottom of him. So there's only look at that one right there. We even got him. Now this side here you can see it's not ripped. So you can see there's no thin line of grayness. The grayness starts right there on the very top. And as I'm spinning it, you can see a little bit of the, the separation line. So it's pretty darn good. Uh, let's see this side right here. This one has not ripped yet. And we're hoping it not to. So it was been, this thing was the only thing that was holding it. And my fault, when we were moving the engine around a little bit, I bumped this corner here and sort of yanked it off, jerked it off. And then I heard something with crack. And I assume I saw it right there. That was it. So since it had its own plastic already, we didn't have to actually mold the plastic for it. So we were okay in this example again. But let's just make sure we do it thorough inspection to see we got all around it and we can take off this ugly tape here because it's probably gonna attract dirt and water for no reason we already have it silicone and we also have it taped I mean a tie strap for extra security hold just these three wires that's going back here and then we also put some silicone here too you can see here so water doesn't get into that area we could put some silicone here too, but there's really no need to. It's just blocked off already. But yeah, these are it. So there we go. We can clean it a little bit. I think it's probably dry out already, most of the stuff. So let me go ahead and get like um, a shop towel here. Just kind of wipe a little bit. Tear a little piece right now. We will see. Hopefully it doesn't stick to it because we don't want anything to stick really. There we go. Just kind of wipe all the 
dirt.